The, the blow dry and makeup applying rush hour driving. It's the driving sound on the link Wait. radio. All right, still teen song right here on the show radio. We are the link, and uh, we tried calling somebody earlier, and uh, they didn't pick up. And then guess what we did? We left a voicemail message. They texted us back, and then now they are able to talk. If you know what I mean. Hold on tight. This is the link radio, and get to find out who we got right now. You're locked on to the link radio. All right, cool. It is the link radio for Shizzy. It is the link radio for Shizzy. And right now, I got um, Vimbai Zimuto. How you doing? I'm doing great. How you doing? You did Kurunga, the song yes. uh, that talks about, I don't know, is it whining the worst? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, when you say, when you say yes. Kurunga, just for the benefit of uh, our listeners who do not understand our, our, our African Zimbabwe native language, Kurunga, in your own terms, when you did the song, what what were you trying to entail exactly? Well, you know, there's so many ways to say to to explain the word kurunga. Kurunga is m- mostly stirring, mm-hmm. like the way you stir your 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 food when you cook, and uh, in our vernacular and uh, slang, when we say kurunga, we are talking about the waste. Mm-hmm. So you see, the way you you stir the food. It's the same way we want you to stir your waist. Okay. Okay. Kurunga. So, so when, you, when you're when staring the waist, uh, how are you doing it exactly? Uh, where, where are you supposed to be? Like, where, where is the waist supposed to be situated? Is there something... <laughs> My bad, I'm getting shocked. Maybe because I'm saying a lot of nonsense. <laughs> I'm getting shocked. Maybe because I'm saying a lot of nonsense. Anyway, so uh, you know when you when you when you when you're staring something, there's gotta be a stick. There's gotta be a stick somewhere. You know what I mean? So <laughs> yeah. So it's like so, your whole body is standing right there. That is the stick, and you are just moving the waist. You're not moving anything else. Uh, so that's the whole point. It's like. The way you do the ndombolo, the coupe de calais, you know, mm-hmm. the way you just move, that's, that's the way it is. Well, well, you know, Daddy Minded Me actually thought that there was like a twist to all that. Maybe there was a stick that's supposed to be somewhere being steered and all that jazz. You you know, we humans and, you know, <laughs> <laughs> this yeah, the mind. Good thing, the good thing is you can, you can interpret it the way you want. It just depends on where you're at because kurunga you can kurunga while you you know get down you can do a lot of things with the word so it's, mm-hmm. it's, it's a matter of where you want to put it that's what's up that's what's up Bimbai. so you yeah. came into the, i mean you've been there in the music industry for a very very long time but you really yeah. done did the brought the internet i mean it's not the internet okay fine you broke the internet when you released uh your song <laughs> Okay, yeah, uh, which yeah. simply means um, um, stick around. You're, you not, should, you're not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere, Basically. right? And uh, that song is probably, I mean, it will still remain one of my favorites. Uh, it's really chilled. It's got a soul R&B. It's more sexual, you know. Uh, this is our, okay. gen- our generation. We, we'll, we love things that has to do with sex. Uh, no two ways about it. <laughs> 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 and uh, and then you broke the internet when you released you know your pictures which I love the art by the way what was the motive behind the art of that you know photo shoot well um, it's like traditionally as Zimbabweans and as Africans you know we we have been very privileged to be very comfortable in our own skin and not worry so much about what people think Mm -hmm. so culturally it has always been like that it has not been an issue it has not been uh, we didn't we didn't even need to discuss it it was just a culture i know and and it was nothing to be ashamed of even up to now so most people take it really wrong um and they take it like as if you know you just want to show your skin you want to just spread embracing you you embracing your culture in a way because that's just how it always been as you say yeah that's 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 interesting and being proud of being proud of your body of who you are being proud of an african woman that you are that's pretty much the story 
that the photo shoot was trying to entail, right? Yeah. That's great. That's interesting because we we I noticed you more of a a cultural woman. Everything that you do, it's it involves some African. Um, it's got this African, you know, uh, texture to it. The clothing, the vibe, and all that. Is are we gonna see a different kind of Vimbai going in a different kind of way, or it's just gonna be like that? Well, Mimbai is a lot of things, but she's still an artist and she stays in her lane concerning uh, what she does. Mm -hmm. So I'm just being me, hey? I, I am a full-blown artist who does a lot of different things and I'm a um, uh, fashionista, I'm a model, I am a role model to a lot of people, I am a I am, um, creator of my art. Yeah. So, yeah. I like I like uh, what you said about fashion because we know that like you were slaying big time. I was like, look at this girl at the the recent Star of Star the Yes, what inspired that incredibly amazing outfit? I saw a little bit of some um, a little bit of some carnival vibe right there. Yes, yes. You know how carnival is uh, is very colorful. Mm -hmm and vibrant and um you know the whole point was when star fm did their awards they said they want us to do music in color mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and um, what's more colorful than carnival oh nothing nothing at all and yes. you really you really brought it up okay i'm gonna ask you a question as we wrap up what are the yeah. five things that you cannot survive with if i'm gonna put you on an island right now and say even back yeah go on this island for six days what are the five yeah. things that you cannot survive with that would you would take with you uh, okay well there's or, there's already water on the island so i won't take water okay <laughs> but let me see what i will take mm -hmm. um on an island ah, i'll just take my two kids <laughs> okay your two kids i think because you know what? On an island, there's a lot that you can do. As a creative, you you always have to find a way to survive. Mm -hmm. So there is um, there is uh, fruits, there's um, stuff which you can use as vegetables and eat. You can you can always survive with with um, a lot of nature around you. So I won't even take clothes. I don't need them on an island. I don't. I won't even take uh, bread because it will be stale in two days. Are you gonna take I your take... Are you gonna take your phone with you? No. Okay. Because on an island, I don't need to be have phone. I don't need to reach out to anyone out there because I've got everything that I need. It's like you are in a place where you can find peace mm -hmm. and where you don't have to be, um, uh, you know, looking for anyone. Or because as long as you have everything, uh, nature around you, mm -hmm. you don't need anything extra. Okay. Another question: Do you have a man in your life? <laughs> Of course I do. Oh, that's so perfect. I, I, I swear, I like that. You was like, of course I do. Like, what you talking about? You, you don't know that I have, I, I do have a man in my life. Because you, because you, because you didn't mention that she was gonna take your man on an island. So I was like, you say your kids. Well, I look, there's one thing you need to understand. Um, mm -hmm. A man can be changed. I can change. I can have another one if this one doesn't suit me anymore. Ooh. I can, um, yeah, but <laughs> that's the truth. I'm sorry to say. I feel you. I feel you. I love, I like your honesty. Let me, let me say one thing I like about you. You're just like a free spirited person. You come out and say your mind. You do what you feel like doing, which is a very good thing. Thank you so much, okay. Vimbai, for coming through. I know it was so random. It was so random. We're going to do like a proper, proper interview and we will, you know, put a tag to our social media and do a video maybe, which will be so cool. Right. Yeah. So before I go, um, are you working on any album, any projects that you're currently working on right now? Yes, but right now I'm at work and my boss is looking at me like, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> okay, okay, you know what? Uh, let me just let you go. Uh, but I need to know your favorite song of all the songs that you have done in your life. I think it's Daneta uh, Nehumirira. I think it's really, it really speaks to our society whereby people are living together mm -hmm. for the sake of living together and for the wrong reasons. Mm -hmm. And they still wait to be loved, you know, just to have that TLC in there. And, and that person is not coming. 
because they are afraid. You're afraid of, uh, of, of the, what the society would say if you decide you don't, you just gotta go. Mm-hmm. But yeah, when you're After tired you. of waiting for the love, you just gotta go. Well, you find someone for you. Here, here's what I always say. Like, sometimes, don't, don't. Your online radio that makes you happy. The Link Radio. Experience the world. That's right. We're going to play a song from Mumbai. This one is called Vascana Vese. I love the song. Thank you. Thank you. You're locked on to The Link Radio.